What if we could take control of our health before problems even begin? The Bioscore gives you a tangible number designed to answer one specific question. How well am I ageing? Today, Meline is at Hook, a cutting-edge preventative healthcare clinic where the focus isn't just on extending life, it's on optimising it. Meline is undergoing a series of advanced tests, including a brain scan, in-depth blood analysis and comprehensive fitness assessments. By uncovering key insights about the body and mind, Hook empowers individuals to make smarter choices for a healthier future. But what can these tests truly reveal? And how can they help improve your quality of life? Today, we are here in one of the top preventative healthcare centers in London. So I would like to really understand how can I maximize myself as a piece of human wear to improve my overall performance. I have done quite a lot of different health check before. Sometimes it can be very intimidating when you don't know much about your health and you don't know where to start. So today I would really love to see my biomarkers and also to learn about myself. It's absolutely our passion as a channel to go around the world, find those amazing treatments, our secrets, and to show it to the people. Today, Meline is at Hook, one of London's premium longevity clinics with a proactive approach to healthcare. Meline begins her journey at Hook with a blood test, one of the most powerful tools for understanding long-term health. She sits down with Dr. Claire Neeland to learn more about Hook's unique approach. So Hook is a longevity clinic. Hook is a very proactive, preventive health approach. In essence, we're a health optimization clinic. We want you to live the best life for as long as you can in good health. One of the things we do here at Hook is test over 200 different biomarkers. We've developed something called the BioScore, and the BioScore gives you a tangible number designed to answer one specific question. How well am I aging? I think age is just a number, but, but when we're looking at the science behind it, when we want to think about what our biological age is, we need the numbers and we need to know what the, those biomarkers show. Whilst chronological age is fixed, biological age can be changed and can be, be adapted just with small changes. When we're testing those 200 biomarkers, could you tell us what is the most important thing we are looking at? The biomarkers we use span different disease areas, cardiovascular health, metabolic health, not only the blood test, but the imaging as well. But we also do fitness testing. We have a nutritional assessment. We look at your cognitive and emotional health. So it's a real overview. The blood test that you've had done this morning, for example, we have a reference range uh, from the laboratory and, and, and we don't just want you to be, you know, just inside that. We want to optimise you. So we'll look at, at your results in detail and we'll decide actually, you know, are you, are you okay or could you be better? Can we optimise you? You will have results that are, that are your results, but we will help you interpret them based on your age, your sex, your, you know, the, yeah. so, it's, so it's very bespoke. I love that because we are not average people. Everybody are so special and unique mm -hmm. on their own way. And I just feel when you take a same size, the kind of you know, dose or everything, it's just not, you can't. And, and I have to say, as a doctor, that is a philosophy that transfers across my entire working week. You know, every patient or client that I see is an individual. Yeah, nobody walks in their shoes other than the person sat opposite me. And it's really important to remember that there is no one size fits all. Everybody brings to the table their own different experiences, their own different emotional stresses. So everybody is very different. And as a doctor, I need to keep that in mind no matter who I'm working with. What can I do to help me live healthier or start thinking about more preventative mindset? I think the first thing is taking ownership, understanding that you have the power within you to create good health. Anybody can Google lifestyle medicine six pillars and you can see what that framework looks like mm. and have a think about 
really small changes that you could make in each of those areas. You know, not everybody has the time or the energy or the financial resource, but there will be one small change that you can make in your life. What can the NHS provide for you? Women should be having their smear tests done. When they're eligible from an age perspective, they should be having mammography. You can have something called an NHS health check, which will give you height, weight, blood pressure, some markers, some blood testing, for example, a lipid panel. So there's lots that you can do to take on ownership of good health. Next, Malene undergoes a Wavi brain scan, a cutting edge test designed to assess cognitive function and overall neurological health. Talking her through the process is Professor Bulu, an industry-leading physician. The report from this WAVI brain function test basically collects information about the electrical activity at different points uh, over the, the brain, uh, allows us to look at the voltage, the degree of electrical activity in the brain, and its regional distribution from to back. Can you tell us what is voltage? Whenever you have a difference in the charges between inside and outside a cell, you create a voltage. It's like electric. It is electric, exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And the EEG, or the electroencephalogram, which forms the base of the WAVI Hellnet, which is collecting electrical information from different parts of the brain, allows us to compute the activity going on at specific points in the brain. So this kind of test is useful as a baseline for, for individuals that can be tracked over time over months or years, but it's also quite useful in uh, identifying abnormal brain function, which might, for example, denote a susceptibility to neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, for example. When we talk about the voltage of brain, uh, those voltage can be influenced or improved over time if I do certain interventions or even exercise for my brain. The overall activity, the voltage, the electrical changes which occur over the brain, you're kind of born with and and that those will change during the day during wake during sleep when you open when you close your eyes for example as was demonstrated in your own results so that that's not that is invariable that affects all people at all times uh, it can be influenced however you're right by for example drinking coffee by uh, whether you've been awake drinking alcohol whether you have been under the influence of a a sedative, for example, all of those could change the, the voltage, but also the frequency of the electrical activities that you're picking up. But with, even without those external factors, there is a pattern which is discernible in normal people, which affects the entire population. Your own results show that you are within range for your overall voltage, your brain reaction time and your physical reaction time. You were able to look at some key measurements with you. One was the overall brain voltage. Uh, then we looked at the brain reaction time and then the physical reaction time. So all this was done by an external cue and then seeing what the brain response was in terms of its electrical activity and where the electrical activity was occurring. From that, you can deduce the activity of individual areas of the brain. So if I test it out and I find abnormal visuals, I should go then have a more comprehensive test? Is that what you mean? This should complement other assessments and uh, forms a baseline against which you can then make recommendations in terms of your lifestyle, your eating habits, your exercise capability, your happiness and your mental health. Sometimes medications can all resolve some of the abnormalities that you can detect on a wavy scan. If you give our audience one biggest takeaway or one biggest tip in longevity and health, what it will be? This is a really important question. You know, the message is very straightforward. Lead a really healthy lifestyle, sleep well, balance out, be happy, have good nutrition, exercise, these are all kind of fundamentals to good health, but they've also been a proven value in extending health span and lifespan. Yeah. Be able to cope with stress yeah. and not have a maladaptive response to stress. Yeah. These are the real secrets and ingredients that will actually enable you to, to live longer. Now we move on to the final test, a physical and nutritional assessment with Aaron Deere. Hook tailors its approach 
to help individuals maintain physical resilience as they age. Okay, so we're going to do some specific fitness tests. So we're going to assess your cardiovascular fitness with a VO2 max test on the treadmill. Then we're going to look at some strength tests like your grip strength. And then we're going to look at some power tests using uh, the valve force plates to test your vertical jump. And then we'll also be assessing your balance as well, which these are all key metrics when we're looking at programming for uh, longevity and health span. Everything starts from the same place and that's the investigation. Once we get all that information back, uh, we then build a integrated program. The key bit is personalization because you might see a, an article or a, a podcast or something where somebody is giving generic information that might have worked for them or they believe works, but that doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. Perhaps you saw in a video that you should be taking a certain type of multivitamin supplementation. But if we test your blood markers and you, are, you have plenty of these vitamins, you know, and the levels are good, there is no point for you to continue to take them and they could potentially even be harmful to you. So could you tell us a little bit of the approach of Hook? Is people changing their lifestyle? We've got people that have you know, gone to various health clinics or seen various experts along the way and have been unable to make change. Now, the thing that I've found here at Hook that is different is that we have a cognitive health team yeah. to support us and help us in, in difficult cases. So, you know, you were talking about behavior change. This is not something you can just snap your fingers and make the change. The more that I worked with these guys, the more I appreciate the steps and the formula and the system that they use to help support behavioral change. You know, these people that we deal with, you know, clearly want to make change, but it's been something that's been going for 20, 30 years in some cases. So you really need the help of a, an expert in order to understand how you break these habits and how you put in new habits in their place. What are those metrics can tell me about me and how can I adjust my nutrition and training according to those metrics? That test you did, the resting metabolic rate, that tells us how many calories you need a day at rest. So this doesn't account for exercise or moving around or working or anything, but this is used as a, our kind of baseline to know more about your calorie requirements, okay. okay, for the day. So if we just kind of took the generic number of 2,500 calories per day, we might see your metabolic rate was only 1,200 calories and you're not very active, you don't burn very much. So in reality, you may be oversupplying by six or 700 calories per day. Okay. And then if you wonder why, okay, well, why can't I lose weight? It's because it's not actually matched to your requirements. And then vice versa, if you're somebody that has a lot of muscle mass, we've seen uh, resting metabolic rates as high as 2,500. Right. So then these people may actually need 3,000, 3,500 in their day, depending on how, act how active they are. I feel data is definitely give a certain truth about your health and yourself. Coming here, it gives me a lot of certainty about my health rather than there's just a lot of information overload. I have been to other centers similar. And what I like about here is they actually give you a very hands-on guidance of what you can do and how you interface with it, which I think is powerful. And I really believe that saying to said, to know oneself is the beginning of a lifelong romance. I feel it's nice to get to know yourself a little bit every day. Thank you for watching the Humanware project. To help us to get more amazing content out there, please subscribe. It means a lot and it will help us to grow. And let's go on this journey together.